decent, a, not even a decent life, just to pay their minimum bills to survive. That's what they're asking for, and you don't really see that in Iceland. Well, and, and I, I really do feel sorry for the people that are $600 million. I mean, it's probably the record amount that anybody has ever spent for a, a website, ever. I mean, all your information will not only go onto the Internet, it will be stored by the NSA, who's incapable of being secure, and then you go on and let the, yeah. let the hackers in. Well, oh, yeah, let the hackers in, yeah. That's why they're, you know, paying off the uh, insurers, because they're like, look, just take whatever you think you're, you need to just figure this whole debacle out. You figure it all out on your end, and then we'll just pay you and figure it all no out problem. later. And who's That's really the paying? solution? <laughs> well, we were gonna we were gonna talk about. They said get out yeah, of here and they kicked, kicked out the out. the politicians that couldn't be trusted, who were trying to get them to use their taxpayer dollars to pay off these too big to fail banks, and they were like, no. Yeah. They said mm -hmm. no, no, no to a bailout. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, and and contrast that to what's going on in Greece. Yeah, exactly. Where, right. where people we had the report that 2009 was one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And the thing here, and another thing to just show how different it is, the police there, they issued uh, an apology and they said the police regret that this incident and, and would like to extend our condolences to the family of the man. They didn't say we were wrong in doing this, mm -hmm. they, but they said it's, you know, we're sorry. It's, it's wrong to take a person's life. It's sad that this, it came to this. I mean, and then you compare that with what is happening in, in New York, where the police officers who fired into the crowd, it, both both situations, the the victim was uh, mentally unstable, mm -hmm. right? And so here in New York, they fired into a crowd and injured by innocent bystanders. And instead of saying, oh. We've already seen how the police act, even sometimes when they know they're being filmed on camera, sometimes when they don't know that they've been filmed, but it hasn't stopped them. It hasn't kept them, you know, behaving better for the greater good. In fact, they've gotten away with murder on camera. It hasn't done anything. And, and, and then we have juries who allow them to get away with murder because they were just doing their job. America is being turned into a police state. We, every week, there's another story after the other. I mean, we have the Boston bombing debacle and the total failure of Super Bowl security, that was all just the beginning. Like, even though it didn't work, it's just set up to scare and police and patrol and the, control the average American. They're going to be everywhere. Bumbling, Barney, Fife, idiot, moron cops are going to be busting down your door just like they did to this family and police had to make some kind of arrest and make their whole mission look legit. They got one guy on a probation violation. The other guy had an illegal substance, probably a little marijuana. Who knows? But that's what they do. They create these. They've got to find something and they will stay there and comb through everything until they find a parking ticket you didn't pay or something to justify their use of force. And that's what happens. They just, you know. They, they want to take you down. If they make a mistake, they're not going to apologize for it. And we just consent to this kind of brutality and this tyranny. And if you don't stand up and say anything about it, then you are giving your consent. I believe that family is going to go ahead and sue the police department since they got it all on video and the police did not knock. But again, what are we saying? Just look away. All this stuff is going on. Economic crash is coming. But just look away. Don't worry about it. Just buy into the illusion that everything is going to be fine. You don't need to go to the InfoWars store and get any survival seeds at the very least so that you can feed your family during this economic crisis. You don't need any survival gear. You know, meanwhile, FEMA is buying up, calling all the Patriot Supply and how can we get food and, and, and buying up bullets and iodine and everything they can get their hands on for some sort of imminent crisis that they're planning for. But you... You and I, we just hope that they don't seize your property, you know, because police can come in and raid your home and say, oh, well, we found a little bit of marijuana and we think you're selling it. So we're going to go ahead and confiscate your home because it's involved in illegal activity, which they have done to people before. But now here we have homeowners in Connecticut. That is crazy. I mean, and that was upheld by the Supreme Court that they said this is fine. And the big flip in that story is that this economic development never happened. The big corporations never moved in like they promised, even though they gave them huge tax breaks to bring these companies in and do all this economic development and help this town out. 
None of it ever happened. They just took the people's land, 90 acres of land from several homeowners, and nothing's there. Uh, nothing is there. And the people are just, they're screwed. And that's what's happening here. And we have to allow this to happen. We can't fight back because then we'll be racist. We'll be racist against the state be racist against globalists, will be racist against bankster scum. And I don't know about you, but I don't want anyone to think that I'm a racist against the state and against these guys. You know, that's why the banks give us these fake money loans at extremely high interest rates because they know we can't pay them back and then they're gonna just confiscate our property and just gobble it all back up for the